Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. The first thing I want to do today is thank everybody for their continued support of the channel. And if you haven't, please like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel grow and it helps me get ideas of what you guys want to see. And I do read all the comments and try to reply to everyone and take into account what everybody says. So let's just get to it today though. We're going to be working on the Lotus. Installing the radiator. So I kind of test fit it a little bit just to see because I made these brackets. Um, Sorry for these rusty bolts, this bothers the crap out of me, but I didn't have time to go get new nuts for these, for the fans, because they're like inset into the fans. So I kind of just threw them on there, but I made these brackets and drilled them real nice since I deleted the AC. And I just wanted to make sure it fit, so I did bolt it in the surround. The only thing I had to take out, which I'll probably try to fit back in there, is this top foam piece. Um, it does not fit anymore, but I put all the rest of the foam pieces back in to put it back in It's just the two brackets up here that you had to undo to get it out and then the two right here to those front plates so Today we'll be throwing that back in and then I bought some Greg's hoses to put in with it and then uh, maybe I'll show you some of the other stuff. The parts are starting to roll in, so maybe we'll go over some of that stuff too. But let's first get this radiator put in, and then maybe we can start putting fluid in it soon. So let's get to it.
to the hardware store, radiators in, kind of go over how to do it. It's pretty easy if you could take it out to put it back in. So there's an eight mil right down here, an eight mil socket, I'm sorry. It's a M5 right here, M5 right there. And there's one right there. I didn't put the one in there. It's still sturdy without it because the brake lines are in the way and I'm trying to simplify this car. If I ever have to take it apart again, it's super simple. So you don't have to struggle so much. There's three M5s in the front here. Then there's a M6 right here that kind of bolts that through the carbon uh, duct. And then there's another one right down there that bolts through. The hoses are self-explanatory how to put those on and get to those. So all new clamps. So everything looks good. Let's see up through it. The only thing I wish is I, I had a piece of foam to cover in there to block to direct a little better but I don't it doesn't fit good with my brackets I made but the car shouldn't have any problems cooling show you some other stuff um, the front ends now pretty much done except suspension the oil coolers are deleted obviously if you still have oil coolers you have to bolt those back on to put the front end back on I painted I'm gonna go all over the place a little bit I painted the valve cover silver to kind of match the car and then I'm gonna do Greg's carbon covers over this and this and then i'm also going to do the greg's carbon surround for the hvac and that'll be all the carbon pretty much on the car and then i polish the muffler brighten it up a little bit get rid of the yellowing and that kind of stuff i'll show you what else i got i got the oil pan from Anakinetic. so that's going to be there's going to be a video putting that on soon the inserts for the uh, front and back of the motor for it rocking, they just insert in the factory mounts and they're not the side to side motor mounts though because the only one that makes those innovative, I think, and they're, I will not put innovative junk on my car just because I've seen such bad luck with them with Honda stuff, I will not. That's part of the reason why I kind of won't put a K in that car because the only company that makes mounts is innovative that I know of. And I just don't want to deal with that. I got the Inakinetic steering arms to put on. These are my refinished hubs. The brakes are in here. I decided with the calipers, the front calipers, I'm going to rebuild them and vapor hone them. And then the rears i'm just going to paint repaint black so it'll look factory fresh and clean the other thing i want to show you guys sorry i'm all over the place today is these so i finally got my arms from elise parts they are zinc coated they do have poly bushings in them yeah they're pretty 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 dope so i'm excited for those put those on in the next few weeks. I did get some bad news from BOE and it's gonna be a few weeks to a month before I get the fuel uh, stuff and the oil cooler just because there's stuff's on back order unfortunately. And they're, they're working hard, they're doing good about keeping me updated what's going on. And then uh, the hubs, the new wheel bearings should be here within a week or two so then I can really start putting the suspension back on. But for now, I have a lot of little stuff I can do, the oil pan, um, the mounts, and get the brake stuff ready to go back on. So we'll make some videos and do that. I did get the engine harness for the Civic, so I might jump back and forth to that. I haven't decided. I kind of wanted to stay on the Lotus till it was done and driving and then go back to the Civic, but we'll see what happens if I get held up with parts and I have time. We'll just go at it then and start working on the Civic. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Till next time.